Just like you know we do. Life has challenges. And uh, we're looking to the chat for the challenge. Reggie and I used to always say that we were happy that any situation that came up or any question that came up, we could find a way to do good cop, bad cop, and make that situation better. You know, because it's supposed to be a win-win situation. That's how life is supposed to be. It's a big tech thing. See what I'm saying? And when you come in here, you come in as a thief. I tell people, when you come here, you take that breath like this, you stole something from this world. And when you leave, it goes to the opposite direction. If you understand that, thing like this. it's a give and take thing. So while you're in here, give it all you can give. This is not a dress rehearsal. This is real life. Be the best you can. Love as far as you can. Let hate not be a part of your chemistry or your makeup. You know, because a lot of times you can function, function a lot better dealing with your heart than your head. You understand what I'm saying? Because we are all born to love and to care and to not be afraid. All that other stuff that we go through, we learn that. We taught that. But that's not the way we're born. I'm an optimist. And people kind of throw it on me all the time. Yes, I am. I believe in good. I believe in doing the right thing. I don't always do the right thing. I'm not perfect. But I, I give it a good shot. I try. I try. I try to do the right thing. I try to do what I don't want somebody to do to me. Talk the way somebody want to talk to me. That's, that's the way I live my life. That's part of my chemistry. That's my makeup. And I'm like that 24-7, 365, sometimes 66 days a year. That's how I live. And we love it. Yes, yes. So, what was it like for you all when you met Kelly's first boyfriend? I bring my boyfriend around here. I don't even know who our first boyfriend was. I don't either. We know who our first TV boyfriend was. Uh, and, and it really wasn't nervous, but it was our last TV and most exclusive TV boyfriend was Stefan. But the one of us, you know, she had that little boys that came in. Y'all saw him. We ran him away. You know. <laughs> but her first girl, you see what I'm doing with her? So, what did you think when you met her husband? Oh, we love him. We love him. We love him. And, and uh, her two kids. You know, she has two beautiful kids. Have you guys seen her? Yeah. 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 And John. Y'all see, she has. And he didn't care nothing about her. Do like you do when you have home. Don't 
for nothing. But you will never be able to buy this. Do not get money in bed again. But you will never. If they keep doing the work, this is why I'm cutting up like this at work. Tell me, no, get in here. Right there, get in here. Get up here. Sit up here. In the very best way. <laughs> <laughs> but it was like a, a real bad movie. Uh, yeah, Tracy. <laughs> being with you and raising him and being working with you it was really wonderful. Uh, I'll take it for the rest of my life. I'm happy. You know, and you are very special people. Who else is here? Well, Reggie, you, you recently revisited the role of TV Dad. Exactly the same. <laughs> right? I mean, come on, you guys had that same reaction. Like, it really felt. Uh, what makes a great TV dad? Uh, patience. <laughs> patience with everybody who had uh, something to deal with and working it out. And, uh, you know, it, it was important to me to respond to them as. as being a real person, being, you know, being in reality, being in the things that uh, they can deal with in real life. I uh, decided to, I don't know what I'm talking about, but I, I just love these people, you know. Like, <laughs> every day going to work is like, a, it's like a dream, you know, doing something that you love to do and doing it with people who love working with you and you working with them. It was, uh, it was special. And I remember that. And that's all I want to say. It's, it's, it's I'm amazed at the absolutely stunning voices of Joe Marie and Kelly, mm -hmm. and I want to know if we're going to get some more music from either of you. Uh, Y'all want to hear my theme song for my country show? Yeah. yeah. Yes, we do. Let's go. It's going to something to even Joe Marie. It goes something like this. Come on in. I know you're hungry. Sit down and get off of your feet. Something that'll fill you up. It's time for something to eat with Joe Marie. Now, you don't have to be a good cook. You don't even need a cookbook. Grab your coffee or grab your tea. It's time for something to eat with Joe Marie. It's time for something to eat with Joe Marie. It's time for something to eat with Joe Marie. And my mother would come home tired, she was a maid, and she'd come home tired, and we'd be sitting out looking like little hungry chickens. And we said, Mom, what we gonna eat? She said, Oh, you better go in there and fix you something to eat. So I titled my show Something to Eat. S-O-M-E-T-H-I-N. Something to eat, just like what she said. And but it's really not a show that it, where you just feel your stomach. I want to feel your soul and your heart and your spirit with something good because uh, most of us know majority of us are not good chefs, and I've had some food that chefs, supposedly excellent chefs, have cooked. It didn't taste like nothing to me. You know? But I go down to the hood to Greasy Spoon, and go down and cook that thing. You see what I'm saying? So it, it all depends. You know, it's just like, you know, I remember my grandbaby would say, Grandma, can we go get some patty pies? I love patty. I know patty. Can we say, well, I need patty pie for. I make a patty pie better. You know what I'm saying? And if you know how to fix something to eat, you ain't really hungry. So my show is the kind of show where some days I may not even cook anything. I may go to a field and want to know how they make corn. Because corn makes meal. Meal makes corn.